aware of it. Yes. So is that because of moles? Is that because of spies? Is that it's it's because um, Taiwan, um, while an independent nation, right, and uh, except from China's perspective, um, nothing happens on that island without the Chinese regime knowing about it. Whether it's the Ministry of, of, of State Security or whether it's the PLA's uh, intel operations, they know everything that's going on. They, they, they hoover up everything. And, and that's just on the Taiwan issue. We can talk about what they're doing, you know, lately in the uh, rest of the world. Um, but the, the amount of resource that the Chinese regime puts into, not just under Xi, but previously puts into monitoring, understanding, uh, you know, what's happening in Taiwan and importantly, what the U.S. is doing in relation to Taiwan uh, is uh, is very impressive because at some point and it may happen sooner rather than later you know that china's been pretty clear about look by 2050 taiwan's coming back you know it's going to be part of china uh, and there is no two ways about it but now people are talking about well that could be four years from now they've accelerated the timetable and that's causing a lot of concern there's been a very big buildup of the chinese military obviously and we've we've talked a little bit about that in the past but uh, also, they're just their aggressive behavior. So as their military has been growing, so has their sort of willingness to be aggressive about it and to, and to put themselves out there, which didn't used to be the case, in part because I don't think they felt emboldened enough yet due to the strength of their Navy in particular. They've got the largest Navy in the world. So, you know, that's, there's, there's, it, it's not, they're not just doing it to do it. Right? There's a reason for it, and the reason for it is to prepare for the eventual day when they decide the time is right to bring Taiwan back into the fold. And that's going to be a very messy day from our perspective because, you know, I, what are we going to do about it? Are we, going to, are we going to war with China to defend Taiwan? What are the two perspectives? Is there one perspective where, where some advisors are saying we have to let it happen to avoid the inevitable mass bloodshed? because it's going to happen no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then the other perspective is, if we let them do that, we're sending the worst message possible, so we need to defeat this at all costs. Yeah, there's there's basically, yeah, that's very eloquent, actually, that you've defined the two tracks, right? There's, yeah. there's really nothing in between. There's no middle ground. Between. Right. Although you could argue, and, and this is what China's been watching also, is what's been happening in Russia and Ukraine, right? Um, so the idea that, We've drawn a red line. We're not putting boots on the ground, right? But we're going to do everything, you know, up to that to help support the Ukraine in their efforts against Russia. Uh, China looks at that and they think, okay, is that is that where this would go? You know, once we if we send our navy across the strait there and and uh, you know start dropping troops on the island, you know, where where is the U.S. in all of this? And they have to base their their strategy, their their forward planning, on on sort of the knowns, right? And one of the knowns is how we're dealing with Ukraine. We do not want to get into a shooting war with Russia. Well, China's going to have to look at that and go, well, we assume they definitely don't want to get into a shooting war with us, right? So then they just they, that's how they start to calculate what that strategy looks like and what the potential then risks and damage could be from being sanctioned further um, in certain areas. Uh, in having uh, arms resupplied to Taiwan during the course of an invasion, essentially. So there's, there's a lot that goes into it, but, I mean, look, it's interesting because we, we miscalculated the, the Russia situation, right? We, we figured out that Russia was building up to an invasion, but just about everybody said, yeah, it'll take them three or four days, and they'll roll into Kiev, and it'll be over. So we got that pretty wrong. So now we have to worry about how good are our estimates of... of you know, the Chinese PLA, the People's Liberation Army, and their capabilities, and the, and the Navy, and how, how good are they? And then we have to worry about Taiwan and say, how, what's Taiwan's will to fight look like? Does it look like the Ukrainians? It's, uh, two different cultures, so. Uh, 